Hey guys, this is Shuman from AAC Technical. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a required CD DVD drive device driver is missing during installing Windows 7. Maybe sometimes you are facing this problem while installing Windows 7 on a new generation computer, such as a required CD DVD drive device driver is missing. If you have a driver floppy disk, CD, DVD or USB flash drive, please insert it now. If Windows installation media is in the CD DVD drive, you can safely remove it for this step. Basically, this problem occurred because when the USB drive is not recognized by Windows PE, I mean Windows pre-installation environment. Windows PE is built on Windows 7 kernel and which is used to initialize a computer for Windows installation. Note, if the USB device driver is not recognized by Windows PE, then you may encounter with this problem and you cannot install the operating system by using USB. And one more thing, if you have new generation computer, then probably this problem may occur because new generation computers are based for Windows 10 and above higher version of Windows 10 that's why Windows 8.1 and Windows 7 is not fully supported in some new generation computers which happened in my case whatever the issue don't worry about it here I will show you two best solutions that will definitely help you to solve this problem well let's get started at first, let's start with the easy method. It is little bit time consuming method but is 100% works. Alright, in order to fix this issue, you need to download Windows USB installation tool by googling. Now just follow me to download. At first, go to Google and search for Gigabyte Global Support. Now just click on this first link. Then it will take you to Gigabyte Support page. Next, go to Product Support. Next click on motherboard and then utility. Now type here Windows USB installation tool and hit enter to search. Note now you need to download Windows USB installation tool according to your chipset manufacturer for Intel or AMD. Alright, I am going to download this version B17.1116.1 according to my chipset manufacturer Intel. Alright, now I am just extract it on desktop. Now just open the folder that you got after extracting. Now just double click on this executable file to run the Windows USB installation tool as you can see. Now just click on this drop down arrow to select your Windows 7 installation media from here. And make sure this 3 checkbox must be checked as you can see. Alright, now click on start. Now be patient and leave your PC, do nothing until the offline driver installation process is completed. It will take several minutes, depends on your USB drive speed. So I am going to fast forward this boring part. Well, now it has completed as you can see. Now just click on close. Alright, now your Windows 7 installation media are completely ready to boot from that. Now let's check it's working properly or not. Alright, I'm just restarting. Next I'm going to boot from my Windows 7 installation media.
then click on next and install now Now I just accept the license terms, then next. Then click on custom option. Yeah done. As you can see, here shows all the drive. Now you can select your specific drive where you want to install your Windows 7. Alright, in order to fix this issue, you need to download USB 3.0 device driver for Windows 7 according to your chipset manufacturer for Intel or AMD. Go to their website and download the latest USB 3.0 device driver software. If your chipset manufacturer is Intel, then just follow me to download the specific USB 3.0 driver software from manufacturer website. At first go to Google and search for Intel USB 3.0 device driver for Windows 7. Now just click on this first link, then it will take you to Intel's driver and software download page. Now just scroll down and download the Windows 7 64-bit USB 3.0 driver software from here. If you have 32-bit system, then download the Windows 7 32-bit USB 3.0 driver software from here, as you can see. Alright, now just extract it. And remember the driver folder name and folder location that you got after extracted. Now just insert your Windows 7 installation media and boot from that as you can see. Then click on next. Then install now. Next click on browse. Next open the USB driver folder location that you got after extracted. Once you found, then just double click on it to expand. Next double click on drivers. Next double click on Win 7. 
Now just select the driver folder according to your PC system for 64 bit or 32 bit. After that click on OK. Now click on Rescan button. After that select the USB 3.0 root hub as you can see. Then just click on next. Note sometimes USB 3.0 driver software doesn't work on some new generation model because some driver software is not compatible with hardware on your computer. So try to install the USB 3.0 driver software according to your chipset manufacturer. If you are lucky then this simple method may help you to solve your problem. Yeah done as you can see. Now I just accept the license terms then next. Now select the custom option. Yeah that's it. As you can see here shows all the drive. Now you can select your specific drive where you want to install your Windows 7. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.